Fish stream. All right, let's go. I have uh, been thinking about it. I've got some new ideas on what I think I'd like to do for students. Um, there's so much customization in this game. I appreciate that it's here, but like I'm falling into the trap that I know I always have for myself. And this is why I don't actually like endless amounts of customization in games. Because then I'm const I constantly start second guessing and double checking myself and trying to do everything like in some best way I can set it up. And I'm just like, but I have to get this thing over here and then I also want to get this thing over here and then I've set up this plan over here, but I can readjust to it like this and it's just, it's too much. And it always ends up with a feeling of, but what if? And I hate that feeling. I hate that feeling so much. So, like, the game is fun, and I'm loving the game. However, I'm, like, th that's just that's just me saying I'm definitely falling into that space right now. So, uh, it's, it, it's, it's, it's just, it, it's, it's really just a report. That that's where my, that's where my mindset is on it. And that's why I... Man, there's the, the... End of sentence. That's just... That's where my mindset is about it. And it kind of sucks a little bit. It's not just first playthrough jitters, Garland, because it's something you can never get back. You can never, ever, ever get back your first playthrough of a game where you're just figuring things out. Once I go back into it, I'm gonna know all of that knowledge, and then I'm not ever gonna be able to just fuck around and enjoy it again. Everything is gonna be planned because I know how it works. That's the way my mind operates on these things. So, as another addendum, with the love of God, don't tell me anything, ever! I was chatting in my Discord uh, just this morning about some stuff, chatting with somebody else and their experiences with the game, but they're a little bit farther than me, and they were telling me stuff that happens, not story-wise, but mechanically further into the game, which is now influencing the way I'm thinking about and planning for it now, and that's... That's like adding to it all, because now I know things that are of course going to change the way I'm behaving now. Things that I could not have possibly known yet. And it's just adding even more to the pile of just things that are jumbling around in my head and trying to like, pull on my decision making. But like, Overall, long story short on that, that's just a little bitch fest coming out the start. It's not bitching, it's just, it's explaining where I'm at on that, and, um... I think the plan, my plan, now, is still gonna be to get Leone. Because I think you guys, somebody made a pretty good point about trying not to use the professors, or the staff. I've already recruited the staff, so they're just gonna hang out and, like, collect dust. But, and I do like Catherine, I really do, but... Leonie's an actual student. She's likely, to, she's likely to have more supports with the rest of the students. And she's still a woman, so I can still... And, and she's already got the benefit of being on a Cavalier line. So I can start teaching her heavy armor and put her towards Great Knight status. I'll still have my Lady Great Knight. And she'll be a student. And with that, I will have interjected people from all three houses into my working team. So I can... Unfortunately, bench Catherine. Oh, God, I wish I could get her and Shamir's support. But we already argued down Shamir last time, so I wasn't going to get that anyway. Hello, Chibi. Hello, Walnut. I'm just gonna drop a whole bunch of these things for you guys because this is a reminder that, you know... No, not hearts. I also, uh, have some emotes. And, uh, you know, I'm doing I'm doing some, some spam of my own stuff. <laughs> How's it going? Wave. 
Uh, it's nice to see some people get where I'm coming from with all of that. Anyways, um, let me check the schedule. What do we got going on here? What is with all of those paralogs? Good lord, there's so many paralogs. Why are there so many? Oh, I see. There's different fishing events. Lots of large fish. This could be your chance for a big catch. This one has fish of mystery. Something strange is happening. Try to get to the bottom of it. This is founding the kingdom celebration. Plethora of food is available. Enhanced or effects are enhanced for kingdom students. What is with these paralogs? There's a rare monster sighting, so I could do that. There's a... Uh, Sothis has a request for you. At her insistence, you travel alone to the Red Canyon. Followed by curious students, so not alone. Safety for the people of the kingdom has been a growing concern. For all Darius territory is no exception. Felix has been called upon, so... Sothis Paralogue, Felix Paralogue, Sylvain is unable to stand idly by, Sylvain Paralogue, Oil and Water is Manuel and Hanneman. They have predictably opposite reactions, so that's one specifically for the professors. Sword and Shield of Saros. The Alliance has requested aid from the Monastery. Alois and Shamir decide that the students will have to suffice. And that's another one for the staff. Okay, so I'll skip on these two. It seems like true chivalry might be good. Because that might get him towards if there's a hero weapon for Felix. Don't tell me. If there's a hero weapon for Felix, that might be good. There's also something for Sothis. And there's a rare monster sighting. The point is there's a lot of stuff to do here in terms of battles. I don't know if I strictly need the experience at this point, And I would like to squeeze in another exploration. Not, well, kind of, yeah, if I could squeeze in another exploration, I could go and, uh, harvest some more flowers, I can drop some more stuff at Leone's feet, and try to recruit her proper before the end of the month. I feel like you miss so much with your choices in this game, and as a guy who likes to see everything, I don't like it. It's absolutely a game where you can't get everything. I am 1000% behind that. I'm on board with the idea of like resource management. And in this case, your resource is time and effort. That's fine. There's like, I, I think there's a difference between like a satisfied decision of this is what I'm going to do with my time and this yearning empty feeling of like, what if I'd done this one thing different to like, just pick up somebody else entirely. And... It's really good to be in the first camp where you just make your decisions and you run with it and you just deal. And if you play the game a second time to see more stuff, then cool. Fire Emblem has always been about that. You always get way more units than you can possibly use. The class customization, I think, can lead to a lot of the second camp and or figuring out what units to use and or supports and stuff like that and people dropping future info on me or trying to guide me in a way is yanking me out of the first camp because it's filling my head with doubt and it's putting me into the second one Um, certifications. Okay, I have a bunch of advanced seals right now, and I want to try dropping Mercedes into that Armor Knight class, because she's finally got the ability to do that. There's something really funny to me about Hanneman's little sprite there in an Armor Knight, that just that old man, chin and mustache and a monocle, in a mountain of metal. <laughs> it's, it's really funny to me. I want to see what he looks like if I was to put him in other things, because you could totally play dress up with these guys and put them in other class suits. <laughs> Hanneman is a thief. He just, I don't think there's any combat thing where this guy will look right. <laughs> Even as a cavalier, he just, he looks more like, more like a librarian that's out here for a ceremony. <laughs> He's got a really combat funny face. <laughs> oh God. Please put your shirt back on, Hanneman. I mean, I'm very proud of your body for, you know, being a librarian, but it's just, it's just, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> he has no face. 
He has no chin. It's just mustache and armor. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, but a fortress knight, though. <laughs> It's just so much shit brown. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I want to see what some of the other characters' colors are too. This is something else I was thinking of. Because Kublis has clearly got a color scheme of black with her outfit. And I think Sylvain has black and red. I, does Dimitri? end up wearing more blue on his stuff? Like, really, though? Because the hero is still pretty muted colors. So is the Swordmaster. He does have a blue tint to everything, but it's not that bright, like, cape blue that he's got on his Lord costume. This is the blue that I like to see. Really, it's, it's color. It makes him stand out. Yeah, Fortress Knight is just back to... Plain, bland white again. Yeah. That's, that's mildly disappointing. Come on, Dorothea, tell me you'll wear something that's bright and vividly colored if I put you down as, like, a warlock. Right, it's, it's, all right, it, it's red. It's got red, all right. It's, it's really dark red, but it is red. Dimitri is a folk... Fortress Knight looks almost as ridiculous as Hammy. Almost, but not quite. What if, though, what if we take Manuela and put her in Fortress Knight armor? <laughs> nah, it's not actually that silly. There's, there's no potential to be stupid with it in so much armor. <laughs> Let's see how tiny little Petra looks on her eventual giant wyvern lord. She actually kind of commands that. All right. So another thing I was talking about um, is uh, un until I've got there, I can't know for sure how this is going to operate, but it seems like there's a bit of a disconnect between the advanced and master classes in that, like, advanced seems to be where your typical fire emblem lines end. You have stuff like the Swords Master and the Assassin and the, uh, the, the Fortress Knight, which is the same thing as a general. Paladin, a Wyvern, Rider, which... A little bit of an out outlier, but you got a Warrior, you got a Sniper, you got a Bishop. This is like a... Normally this would be an evolved class, and it seems like a, this might be a, a place where some people just end up. Because this is where all the specialities end. You've got like your sword specialist, your uh, your your stealth specialist, your armor specialist, your your cavalier specialist, a flyer, axe specialist, bow specialist. That's it. When you get down to master, everything is a hybrid, with the exception of the falcon knight and the wyvern lord. Those are like those are straight upgrades off the previous class. But a savant is swords and magic, and a great knight is cavaliers and heavy armor and a bow knight is uh bows and cavalier and a dark knight is cavalier and magic and a holy knight is cavalier and holy and the gremory is both types of magic instead of focusing on one so until i get there i can't know for sure but i think my current plan because, like, I have everybody with a, with a planned end point as a master class, but I don't want to be disappointed if people don't get there. I think I'm going to treat an advanced class as, like, the end point. And when they get, when somebody gets to an advanced class, then I'm going to have them use that class to train that class's abilities. And then put their schoolwork onto the second topic to get them to their master class. And if they make it, that's a bonus. If they don't, then cool. They'll just bounce around in advanced classes for a while. I need to be satisfied with that. Hey, Kaiser Derp, what's up? Anyways, um, let's stop talking. Mercedes, please don't muck this up. You've got more certification chances, and I have a bunch of seals. 
but I want you, to, I, I've been giving you this heavy armor for this long. I don't want to keep making you focus on axes that you hate. Do this for me, Mercedes. Pass the bar, pass the armor night exam. How do I wear something heavy? No, I can't figure it out. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck. Oh no, I couldn't do it. Well, that's, that sucks. Anyways, I have to take the, uh, the seals off of all of my recruits. So we gotta stash those. Oh, a Bernard Bernadette came with a bullion? Why do you have a bullion on you? Oh, wow, these guys all came with some good stuff. Actually, yeah, for the units that I'm not planning on using, I should just store all of their shit. Bullion, wow, these guys actually came... Okay, so they will come with a reward for recruiting them. So even if you don't plan on using them ever, it might be a good idea to just slowly add people to your roster? So Leone's a 15. Yeah, it seems like the rest of the students are also level 15 this month, making my class quite a bit ahead of the curve as they're 16 selves. They come prepared item-wise, stat-wise seems a bit low, but eh. I don't know. Bernie decided to buy her way in. Um, I'll say this, my first FE game was FE8, Sacred Stones. And the fact that the classes in that game all branched off into two options made the variability, variability seem to be linear. What do you mean by that? Do you mean more limited? Like, linear isn't quite correct, but... They did, they did have f a couple forks. And I was okay with that, because you could turn a unit into something else that you desperately needed at that time. But it's the whole concept of like, I'm gonna take this person who's been a mage for their entire life and suddenly gonna give them an ax, and this is their job now. I've never really leaned into that aspect so well in Fire Emblem. I'm trying it here. And in Gaiden, it turned, uh, Gaiden was, uh, Echoes, Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. It was fun for me, because they gave you enough students to branch to do everything, and then I screwed with, with, with their intended order, and I had fun with it that way. But look, once they were all on a path, they stuck there. In this one, you don't have to do that. Like, Mercedes has bounced around a whole bunch of classes right now. So Mercedes has already tried taking one of hers, and that sucks. Who else could attempt to do something? Mercedes, please! Please do it again! <laughs> Take the class! Um, Kublis is on there. She's fine right now. Dimitri's a lord. He's fine right now. Although I might want to turn him into a cavalier temporarily. Oh, I don't know why I'd want to do that. Didu is fine as an armor knight. Felix has his dark maginess. Don't care about Ash anymore. Right, Sylvain is somebody that I wanted to make a cavalier for a while to work on his riding. This has been okay as a mage so far. He's most of the way there, but cavalier would give him lance and riding skills. It would take away his ability to heal. So if I'm taking away both Mercy and Sylvain at the same time, that seems like maybe not so great an idea. Annette could be a warrior as a backup. She's got the axe skills for it. Ingrid just rocking that Pegasus Knight currently. No risk of maxing yet. Bernadette is an archer, tried and true. Don't need you. Dorothea is currently a thief? With no experience and level 15. I might prefer to make her a brigand, because I do already have a thief in Kublis. That would give her more HP. 
quite a bit more strength. Reduce her dexterity and speed by two. She wouldn't be able to steal. She wouldn't be able to lock touch anymore. Speed of 23. What do I have? Lulis has a speed of only 16? Really? Huh, I thought she was faster than that. Okay, so then I could keep Petra as a thief for the ability to super steal, or I could rely on a net to speed boost, and I could use a net as a brigand. I mean, you're you're Petra. I'm writing this on my phone, so it's hard to see my truth. I'm guessing thought play out. And I'm trying to say that with Advanced Master and Intermediate having the same amount of classes, it doesn't give me the feeling of expansion that I got in FE8. I played FE7, my Cavaliers returned to Paladins, but in FE8 I can make Kyle a Great Knight and Ford a Paladin to fit their skills and growths more. They could expand into their own life as a unit, whereas this game doesn't give me that sense of unit life. Fair. I always shudder when I see the world's hard classic Iron Boy. Relax, man. Just don't, don't let it get to you if it's bothering you. Um, okay, so, yeah, I could reclass Petra, and I did say that I wanted to make her a brigand, because that's one class that I don't have right now. And I don't have covered in any way. Leone's a cavalier, so she'll have that covered. I don't also have a mercenary. I've got the thief, I've got a lord, which is... Not a mercenary, sorry. It's, I've got the Lord. I got a Fortnite. Got a Dark Mage. Got an Archer in Bernie. I got a Mage in Sylvain. Got a Priest in Mercedes and a Fortnite. Annette's a second Mage. Ingrid's a Flyer. Bernie's an Archer. Petra is a Thief. Yeah, if I'm going to do anything with Petra, it should be to make her either a mercenary or a brigand. Because I got Thief covered. No matter what I do, she's going to lose a couple stats. Strong and speedy mercenary gets the job done, so that would give her sword skills. Brigand would give her axe skills. And if I want to put her on a wyvern, that sort of makes the uh, decision clear. So let's go ahead and make a brigand, hey? Can I get a thumbs up? Anybody in the chat agree? Make, make, uh, make Petra a little brigand? She doesn't have any thief experience right now, so it's not like I'm throwing anything away. I hate your love of armors now that you call them Fortnites. It's Fortress Knight, all right? That's just such a un unnice word to try to say. Brigand sounds good. All right, cool. Let's do it. For the sake of variety, Petra, become a brigand. Make her a two bri true Bridget. That's right, the brigand from Bridget. I do love me some axes here. I have success. Yes, change into the new class. Cool, so you're set up. And after that, I think everybody's pretty much good. I still don't have a Merc. But if Kublis happens to master her thief skill before she gets to 20, which it looks like she's really, really gonna, um, I could turn her into a mercenary. In fact, I, this this makes me wonder if there's a way to get class experience outside of combat because three is just like such a such a pain. I'll probably just have Kublis not really do much in the next battle because she's already a level ahead of most as well. Yes, Poke God, I said axes. <laughs> Many axes, big on the axes here. Poor little Flane, <laughs> falling behind everybody. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm pretty happy with that for certifications. Well, I'm not happy because Mercedes failed hers, but people are doing the things. No fishing this month, um, so yeah, let's check out this battle. 
Battle at Magdred Way. Suggested level of 19. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Activity points for battles. I could do two of them. wondered why there were so many stacking up well that allows me to knock out maybe a quest or two as well to like do some uh do some renown although these are all super cheap people want me to try the 19 i'm only 16 so the enemies are going to be, like, level 20. Are you absolutely sure about this? <laughs> okay, I'll take Felix's first. Like, t oh god, tell me that this is going to work right. Is, is this, is, th am I understanding this right? Like, I have two battle activity points. Does that mean I can do two battles in this time? Or do I... Does it only give me the ability to take on a battle that has two points? Two battles. Okay, cool. Ugh. I so don't need the experience right now. The mission is only needs a level 15. I could do running around exploration. I could raise my professor level more. But okay, fine. I skipped on the last red one, so I'll do battles this time so I can go try that one. Let's do, uh, oh wait, but Sothis too. One twenty-five, two twenty-two. All of these will be available for a while. So this is is available for less time. So I'm gonna pick up hers because I want to know what this is. And then we can do the battle in Magdred Way. Okay. Okay. Felix can wait. Let's do some, do some fightings. Hmm, what was that name again? What are you thinking about here in my mind palace? Oh, this is frustrating me to no end. I simply can't recall. Ah, oh, I have it. Xanado. Am I supposed to know that? Xanado the Red Canyon? Right? That's it. <clears throat> it was not long ago that we were there. And still, I Somehow I managed to forget. Sorry, I clicked the button again. What about it? Well, that place brought back some fragments of my memory. I cannot help but wonder why. I feel we must return to find some answers there. Uh, if this game were to have DLC classes, what would, where, what would you like to see? Just for speculation at this point. I didn't do anything with the Master DLC classes from Echoes, so I can't say anything about the way they handled them there. But I would like to see... I think I'd just like to see them expand a little bit more. Like, I'm okay with the idea of having the through line of, like, this class evolves directly into this class, but you can change them into something else if you want. I'm fine with that. I would like to see master classes that focus on S ranks of weapons. Like, maintain the speciality in master class. Because right now, master classes are all hybrids. It would be really cool to see, like, what does a swords master turn into directly? Not a swords master that uses magic. I want to see what a pure swords master can do when it classes up. A magic user with heavy armor would be cool, too. 
a magic user that can use fists that so that they just don't ever need physical weapons. That'd be cool. Really, I'm just down for heavy armor. I'm down for heavy armor and uh, that idea of like specialized master classes. That's what I want. Sword, right, a sword master with two swords though. Really? They're, they're like a dual wheel, like a, a pirate. Man, if they brought back pirates, that'd be cool. <laughs> Let's go do it. Yes, you are right. For as the saying goes, there is no time like the present. It is most unlike our professor to go wandering alone like that. Curious, your highness. Yes, I have an uneasy feeling about this. Let's gather the others and find out what is going on. All right. Also, one sec. Yes, it is all oh, I'll do that in a second. This structure. Oh. It's as though my memories are clouded. The most important pieces are obscured. But I once called this home. I have no doubt. I seem to recall something on the other side of that wall. I cannot see it, but I can still feel it. Okay. It is not my imagination. I know this to be true. We are already deep within this valley. <laughs> No, don't grog. Oh, what was that awful Don't grog. <laughs> it was a terrible scream. Uh, yes, I heard that. Yes, and that was not a normal beast, but a huge and terrifying one. Look, there, at the entrance of the valley, a giant shadow. Oh, do we have another monster to fight? Hey, fish mystery. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe we go back to the monastery. Maybe we do some, do some fishing, huh, guys? Huh, guys? How does that sound? Yeah. Uh... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run to the left. I'm gonna run back. Let me out. 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 <laughs> oh, so they weren't kidding. It's just Kublis standing here. And, okay, they can't honestly expect me to take on a bunch of giant wolves myself, so the students are... Yeah, okay, never mind. The students are here. They're just uh, on the other side of the map. Oh, wowzers! Wowzers, that's a lot of giant beasts! And these guys are all gonna be a giant pain because they have, like, 40-something HP, and they get it refilled. And I'm starting on the center, and ooh, this this is gonna this is gonna be a different type of experience. There's a lot less units, but like trying to burn one of them down is gonna take so long, and they're probably gonna have a bunch of their big um big area of effect attacks. So positioning is just gonna put people all over the map, and ugh. one sec. currently using my laptop back there to chug through the rendering of uh, all of my Fire Emblem VODs for YouTube. I love it because that's a laptop that I can put on 100% CPU power for six hours at a time and the fans on the side of it feel like AC. It's really nice. <laughs> okay, so uh, units. I can take 10 with me. I can have one adjutant. So not Catherine. We will uh, set the adjutant right here. It's going to be little Leone. I don't know what the healers do for adjutantedness.
combat. Adjutants? Okay. Once you reach professor level C, you can reassign an adjutant to follow a unit. The number of adjutants you can assign increases with your professor level. Depending on class, adjutants provide one of three types of aid. Follow-ups, occasionally add a follow-up attack. Guard, defense against, reduces damage. Heal. More effective at higher support levels. They get experience in battle, but do not lose weapon durability. And do not die if the host unit is defeated. Oh, they do get experience. That's cool, then. That means once I get adjutants, I can basically use them to, uh... To keep backups in line. Okay, so back to units. Um, Flane, I'm sorry you are dropped. Bernie, get in here. Ash, I'm not sorry. Petra, get in here. So I've got two. Oh, oh, I see. They so they keep their uh, their flag. They become from my school, but they keep their uh, their house flag. So Dimitri and Mercedes and Ingrid and Felix and Sylvain and Annette and Dedu are all from the Holy Kingdom of Fergus. But Petra and Bernadette are from the Adrestian Empire, and Leone is from the Leicester Alliance. Huzzah! Ah! Oh, I want people of all the flags. <laughs> and now I've got them because I'm from the Church of Saros. So Leone, you're coming with me. Bernie, we need to equip you a little bit better. Ash, we need to store everything you have because you're just a boring boy and you have... You have nice... Pistachio-colored eyes, but... And the, the freckles are... I know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody could find that cute, but you're just, you're just not doing anything for me. Bernie, uh, you have Persecution Complex, Bow Range plus one, Close Counter, Lance Prowse, Bow Prowse, so I should, yeah, I should give you a Lance. I mean, we are out here against monsters. She's got 14 speed. I... No, nah, I think that I think she'd be better with a bow because I'm going to want to make sure that uh, somebody else can use that uh, that blessed lance in close quarters combat. We're just going to give you an iron one for now and also the steel bow, I think. So who among me would be good at uh, lance combat? Ingrid and Dimitri, I think both of them would. You have a speed of 15. You have a speed of 15. Both of you are almost as fast as... Kublis, which is odd to me. Not as fast as Felix. Super not as fast as Sylvain. I feel like I'm missing somebody here. Right, Leone is eventually going to have to come in and take Sylvain's spot. But for the time being, he can hang out in the team. You toss in that Ambrosia, and we need to give you some axes. Axes! You're very fast, so a steel might be able to double, and then I'll also give you the Iron Axe plus from Mercy. Okay, so you're good. Kublis. I don't know if I have to have her specifically training on lances. Any right, I'll give her a D plus in lances. That gets her closer to Leone, and then I'll swap her off. To go back to swords primarily so that iron lance is going to be good for now you can store the steel lance i'm going to leave you with the iron shield because you're all alone up there so that brings up your protection by quite a bit dimitri with iron sword iron lance and a steel axe what are the speeds i'm looking at here speed of 15 speed of 15 So you're going to be getting yourself doubled if you use that. That's... Ugh, I don't like that. You don't have to be using steel, so we'll store that. Take out an Iron Axe instead. March Ring is still good for increased movement. One of you guys needs the Blessed, but Dimitri is currently at level 17 already. So I think I'm going to go give it to Ingrid instead. Yeah, because she needs to practice lances, but I want Dimitri focusing on those axes. 
toss in the chest key. Kublis can go get that chest currently, so that'll be fine. Archering, Iron Shield, Sword of the Creator, Iron Lance, Luin, Javelin. Yeah, I'm gonna leave her with the Javelin for now so she can get up to A, A plus in Lances. Eventually, if I can give her a bow, that might be a cool addition. Mercedes has a training axe, an iron bow, and lots of magic, so you'll be fine for now. You could have been wearing armor, Mercy! Why do you do this to me? Sylvain with a steel lance, iron lance. A lance of ruin. Felix has an iron sword, a healing staff. You still don't know any heal spells, do you? You do not. So Dudu's going in with an iron axe and both of his gauntlets, and that's got the killer axe, lots of fire. Petra, iron sword, steel, iron. Bernie's good. Okay, I think we're about as good as we're gonna get here in terms of that if we go to the map. Cannot move Kublis, clearly. She might be best set to stay on the heal tile. It, that might be the case because they might not be able to cross the pillars to come and attack me. Oh, but they will have their area of effect damage, so never mind on that. I think this guy back here is going to be the super boss. He's level 18. He's got two health bars. He's not going to move, but that's his attack radius. Yeah, so I can see what their actual radius is. Even... Oh, are none of them going to move? None of them are going to... Oh, wait, never mind. You're not going to move. But the two next to Kublis are, so I see... So we have to punch through those two, f through this guy on the bridge first, and then go to a rescue. You do, you come stand up in front because you are super slow. Ingrid, you can be near the back. Petra, you take Bernie's spot. Okay. Drop down a savey boy. Let's do the thing. Check on the chat real quick. All your teachers could back up the units that they would replace. That's true, if I get enough adjutants. Getting a C plus did not give me another adjutant, so it might be that you only ever get three. Like, one for C rank, B rank, and A rank. Ash, you're really pale and your silver hair only makes you look paler. We're living in the Middle Ages with no AC. The fact you're outside as much as you are with no tan is astounding. <laughs> The only reason I remember you guys are talking about yarn. Okay, gotcha. Let's do it. Defeat the enemy commander. Victory conditions. Defeats are Kublis or Dimitri Falls. What is it now? Well, we have giant wolves. That's what it is now. Those hungry wolves. That howl must have riled them up. We have no choice but to fight our way out. Give it your all. Woof. This is bad. It's a good thing we managed to catch up with our professor. Wolves at the front, hawks at the rear, and at the canyon mouth, a demonic beast. Or perhaps to call it a stray beast would be most fitting. If we cannot take out the beast, I doubt we will ever see the monastery again. We must help our professor, okay. first and foremost. This is a tough situation for anyone. So it's a little bit weird to me that they um that they let you do the unit setup before they do that battle introductory cutscene. Because it's like, I know all of the units, I know where all of them are, thus there's no surprise when they just like rush out of the scenery at me. I don't know, maybe there's something in the game code that's like got those two events backwards right now, but I would really expect to see the whole like everything charges at you cutscene first and then you do your battle preparation. Okay, so you do this. Yep, these guys are all safe. Nobody has to worry about a dang thing right now. These guys might end up moving later, but for the time being, they're not gonna. Kublis is safe for a single turn standing right there. If I wanted to move her out to one of these spaces, she'd take one attack. Although if, she, if I move her to this space, she's out of range of everybody. So yes, let's do that. 
Rust gauntlets, huzzah. Okay, um, I will get the let's, it, it's, it's been a while since I've had to fight one of these things. Oh, fuck, I didn't put uh, battalions onto Petra. Or Bernie. Poodoo. I don't mind resetting for that. I haven't done anything battle-wise. That's just something I forgot to do in prep. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. How many rusted weapons do you have? A bunch, and I already sold a bunch of them, too, so... They only turn into irons, so rather than put the money to repairing them, I'm just, like, putting them in my... in my stuff. Okay, all the same guys are here. Let's go to the inventory. Battalions. Bernie and Petra, you need yourself some battalions. Although you only have E ranks, so you can't really get the good stuff yet. I'll give Petra the movement, holy monks. I'll give Bernie the... Pushes adjacent foe one tile away or heal. I've got enough heals on me right now. Take this one. Yeah, good. Now we drop a save. Now we do the fight. Look at the pixel girl jump for joy. <laughs> Do they show you what they turn into before fixing them? They do. Uh, I've only ever seen one rusted weapon not turn into something that's iron, though. You're right that I probably should go check. But I also stopped selling them because they only gave me one copper, so I just have them clogging up my bank right now. Okay, so, yeah, because the battalions are what you use to force their attention onto you. I'll cut through. Which would be a good idea for Dimitri, I think, because he's got 17... Why do you not have a battalion? Ah! Because I took it away from you for the one battle where you didn't participate. God damn it. You've recruited three students at this point in the game and are already aiming for a fourth. I've recruited a lot more than three students. At the beginning of the last month, I hadn't recruited a single person. Well, at the be sorry, at the beginning of last month, I'd recruited Flane and Catherine because Flane was a story recruit and Catherine was basically like free when I got to the right level. But I also went on just like a gifting spree because I figured out how supports worked. So I recruited Petra and Bernie. I also have Dorothea and Marianne. And I've got Hanneman, Manuela, Shamir, Catherine, and I'm working on Leone. So I got a bunch. I can't use most of them, but I did get a bunch. At the beginning of last month, people were telling me, they're like, wait, you don't have anybody recruited yet? How? I've, had, I've recruited two people at this point, and I, I got real mad. <laughs> Hanneman's just here as a joke, yes. Every other recruit I have is a lady, and then Hanneman just, like, meekly asked to come along, and I'm like, all right, fine. You probably need to get out of the house a little more. <laughs> Okay, inventory, battalions, Dimitri, and you need an attack one too. You, I can't, I can't get away with a healer on you. You need somebody that has three uses as a combat, if possible. But I don't think those units exist right now. The only three use ones I have are uh, holy healers.
Effective against flyers. That'll actually be pretty good because it'll work against the hawks. But it does mean that I can't have him use his battalions to attract the attention of the wolves. Other people are going to have to do that. Or I could give somebody else the archers. But the archers have a support rank, I mean, have a charm level of D. I guess most people do have a D. So who's got good defenses? Ingrid, you need the Pegasus Knights. I can't change that off of you. I guess Dadu does have the defenses to take that. Yeah, so I'm going to give you... Unequip the bandits. We're going to give you his archers so that you can attract the attention of the uh, eventual hawks. And then we're going to give Dimitri the bandits. Yeah, since they're not maxed yet. Let's do that. Good. like around to tell you how you recruit his units yeah i can i can let you in on the info because i had to be let on let in on the info too it was not as uh apparent it, it was not as easy as the game kind of made it seem okay so now with this setup we can uh, actually do something and have to do step up we can steal gauntlets this guy's gonna get quite hurt by that although you're also going to double me and i don't like that that's a hefty hit and to do has good defenses so what if i stun you first just a quick little gambit pay attention to me Alright, good. Bandits leveled up. Okay, so they don't take a whole lot to get rid of their, uh, their cheat weight. No, they do. They do take a lot. So if I can get one more person to do a gambit on him, I'll just take it right out. Alternatively, I could use Bernie to maybe attack the one in the back, but I don't have two archers. If I had Bernie stepped... If I had Bernie attack from here... It's not gonna I can't take out everything in one turn. I don't think there's any way to do that. But you are stunned, so you won't attack me. Oh no. Damn, that is a pretty bad chance of hitting, too. I'm on it. Ready. Could have Ingrid float over there. Yeah, because she has a javelin, so she can attack from this side of things. Oh, I can choose which target I'd like to hit. So hitting the monster himself does more damage. and it has a higher hit chance than trying to hit the barrier. That might be better if I can take him down to 25, because I could probably then use, he's got low resistance. So, Annette, nobody with magic is close enough. Oh, not true, Sylvain is here. So I could do, if that's 13. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at this wrong way. Ingrid can do 8. Sylvain could do 20. So that's 28 total. That's 33. If I can do 5 damage to him at that point, which Bernie can. Okay, cool. Let's do this. I'm going to take out the first wolf in the first turn here. Attack. And that's also with the javelin. I can hit her with something else. 
and do even better. I can hit her with the Blessed Lance, but that seems a little, uh, worthless. A little not worth the, um, the durability right now. So we're gonna stab you. <clears throat> Have Sylvain make an approach. Just use a fire. Save your Bolganones for later. Oh, I see. So I only get one turn of attacking him while he's stunned. Here goes. For some reason, I thought that'd be longer. Um. 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 Okay, maybe, maybe not Bernie there if she. If she misses, she dies. I will get the victory. Wait, do I have any combat arts? That's a hundred percent chance. Okay, do that. And also, if I attack with an iron bow. On the right target, it's a 92. That's still not good enough for me. Use your curved shot. I'm okay with a little bit of durability damage. Just make sure you don't miss. Bam. Okay, one giant beast goes down for one health bar. I kind of forgot that he had a second health bar for a second there. Uh, now I have to defend Bernie. Battalion. And really what I should do is get a battalion to just hit you and knock you completely the hell out. Because I wasn't thinking about the recharge. Dedu has only two uses on his. Oh, right, right. Dimitri used his battalion, so the monster's still going to attack him. I'm fine with that. Everybody Here else just go. sort of approach. Assist, top up sill. I owe you one. Okay, pure water's not bad, and then Dedu can just, yeah, start walking up. The monster breaker would do great damage, but not this turn. Just wait, just wait. <clears throat> Okay, good job, Dimitri, although I should have given you your axe. They have a ranged attack. Okay, so standing in the center there is not going to be safe regardless. It will give me increased defense, avoidance, and a heal charge. There's also a yellow experience thing on it, suggesting that somebody at some point died here. I can move far enough away that only one of them hits me. That might be... Yeah, I think that'll be better. Because I can't run away forever. But if I can... I, I can get it down to only one attack this turn. That'll give me some more to work with. And I am still carrying around a training bow. Although I think I could also... Convoy this and get myself a better bow to do some more damage in return. Store the Rusted Lance. I have an iron one in here. I have a lot of iron ones in here. Take the plus. Okay, so you're good. This guy is charging up a mega buster of an attack, but Dimitri did pretty good damage, so this uh, shouldn't be too bad. I 
could have to do just like completely destroy the dude. I would like Dimitri to get a shot here. I mean, uh, Petra to get a shot, a shot here. Bernie's still gonna get herself killed if she tries this, so. I don't wanna give it to Syl. Yeah, if I have Bernie take a step away, she can get a shot on him, even if it's just a shot on the, uh, um, the barrier. So that's some combat experience. It missed. Great. I need Petra and Dimitri's spot. If, even if nothing else works, Ingrid is here and she's got multiple options to kill the monster from the back, so I'm not too worried about this. Plus, she does the, she has the speed to double the guy. So if we have Dimitri quickly take a shot here. Oh, your axe would kill. Ugh, I want you to get axe experience, but not that bad. There we go. I can hit you with a regular iron axe. That's still axe experience. Just a bam. Take a hit in return. That's fine. I got a bunch of people here that can heal. Petra, hop in here. You can iron axe this guy straight to hell. And that's one giant one monster voice. down. Woo! Good. The way is clear now. I think you're gonna go after Kublis because, yeah, th that's still where your target is. But Felix should be fine if you step up here. If your sword on, we'll get you to do it. Oh, I know why Felix does so much healing. It's because he's holding the healing staff. It increases that effectiveness by a crazy high amount. He's doing more than Mercedes is at this point. Let's get you some more space here. Opens up a space for a net to come stand. Rally you up. And then Ingrid is available to go help Kublis. But, ah, oh, she's gonna get shredded in return if I don't do this right. And it's attacking a barrier, so there is no real concept of doing it right. I need to use a gambit to knock it down. I've only got two of them, and I'd rather do that when I can take advantage of a follow-up attack with somebody else. I just hope he doesn't change targets and come for Mercedes. You have an attack of 28. Protection of 10, that's 18 times 2. That's, uh, that's 36 damage. Ugh. And Mercedes only has one life left. I really don't want to give this experience spot to Ingrid, but... I guess it wouldn't matter. He can attack her from two range any either way. Maybe not. Not if I have Ingrid stand right here. That should cover it. Okay. Good. You're right, I really haven't been getting getting much in the way of criticals in this game so far. Physical attack plus five, hit plus five, that's a good level. 
And me hitting you in return? Oh, it's because my one bow shot took off so much of you. No, it's not. No, you're not stunned. You're charging. Grants avoidance plus 30. Keen intuition grants avoidance plus 30 during combat with a foe two or more spaces away. Okay, so ranged attacks give you more avoidance. That's why Bernie was having problems. I want to hang out on this heal tile, but this giant attack is going to hurt me like mad, so that seems like a bad idea. Instead, I'm going to come down here, hang out here. Because again, only one of them is going to move. Cool. Ooh, a hand axe! That is tremendously valuable. Okay, now we gotta make a move and we have to figure out what his attack range is gonna be. No, that's his regular attack range. I know he's not going to move, he's going to explode on that range. So as long as I stay away from the bush and the space to the upper right of it, we'll be fine. Keep track of this guy. Okay. This seems pretty doable. Next turn, we can descend on and totally shred one of these. Oh, wait, but... Wouldn't do enough for the two people who need combat experience here. However, there are other monsters to get that combat experience on. No, I still can't get too close to you this turn because of your big explosion, so never mind. I was thinking of using Petra's attack, I mean movement range booster to get everybody in there, but... Since nobody can get into a safe attack radius anyways, and Bernie's too far away, she's the only one that has the speed for it, there's no point. Just keep everybody moving up naturally. I'll have a net draw you back so that Bernie can come stand on the experience tile. Gambit use. Okay, so everybody else start a walk in. Please come. Hit me in melee. Hit me in melee. No, you're doing the range thing again. Ugh. I wanted to hit you with my lance. And now I'm mastered. I get... It seems I've exhausted this topic. Okay. Maybe I just get to keep steel. I would have liked to keep lock touch. But steel's not a bad one either. Okay. <sighs> That's bad. Oh, I didn't think you were going to do that. I don't think I can keep fighting. I didn't think the monster was going to move and attack. I thought he was going to explode and not do anything for a turn. What's more... Mercedes is the only person who's used her free life so far. I spent so much time making her learn heavy armor skills. She, she would have survived it if she'd passed that test. Ugh.
Okay. Well, I'm 45 hours in. And this is the first death, okay? It's wrong to say I've been disappointed that nobody's died so far, but I was a little bit surprised that it hasn't been hard enough to put me into this position. I am legitimately angry that it was the one person I've cared so much about putting into a unique situation. <laughs> The one person I was fully expecting. Well, not not, not the, the one the one person I I was trying to remake Faye. I spent so long putting her through all of that heavy armor and axe training. So long. I need gin. It's not classic mode if somebody doesn't die. Now taking suggestions for what other poor sap I can put through heavy armor training. I'm gonna make it happen! Fuck you all, I'm gonna make it happen! My healer needs that weight minus three. I'm... <clears throat> it into Bernie. Bernie's an archer. Bernie's not a healer. It's not the same. I'm going to jot down the options here. Options. Because we do have currently three other priests. Like, it's, it's not fine. It's not okay. But if anybody was going to go down... Mercedes was the one person we have the most backups for, so... I've got a real suggestion on Marianne. I need to make sure that you do not cause me too many problems here. Yeah, so I have my own gamut. I can spend this and stop you. I'll take any suggestions. I'll I'll take a look at all of their stats and I'll probably do it based off a of vote when we're done.
Right, they all have reset health bars. I have to do the heavy damage so that I can reset their health bar and try to take you out all in one turn here. I have improved. Strength, luck, and resistance. Okay, you get a recharge. You still only got one of your thingers up, so... Fortunately, now you will attack back, so Bernie's out on that position. Didu, I think, would be okay to, to knock this, uh, this particular piece out. And if he does it with the Steel Gauntlets, that should be enough damage. You're gonna bite me back, but will it get destroyed? Smash, perfect. You go down, I get some steel. Also spend Ingrid going over here too, but I feel like Kublis Kublis might <sighs> Kublis has a heavy hit. I can't physic heal from range anymore. Mercedes is down. I'm not gonna ask your guys' opinion on it. That's 26 HP. The dude is currently stunned. The preview says Kublis is gonna survive. I'm not going to attack the that other one. I'm gonna spend my units on taking this guy down. And I'm going to hit him with my Holy Lance. And I'll come stand right here so that you have to really weird, odd thing to try to walk through. Petra, come stand over here. You Iron Axe this guy into death. That's two wolves down. I will not be stopping. There's Marianne, Manuela, or Flame. Those are the priests that I have currently, yes. If we were to convert anybody else, they would have to learn heavy armor as well as healing. Sure, take a curve shot. Okay, so I did hit it. That might be a bad spot for Bernie. That might be a bad spot for Bernie. Because if he moves, if he does his attack and then also moves, maybe, maybe he'll do the attack if nobody is in range. But if they're not, then he'll stay there. If he moves and attacks Bernie at range, Bernie's also gonna go down. There's still a lot I'm learning about the way these monsters operate. Okay, that's the monster phase. Good to know. Uh, Mercy could have lived if I'd just taken a hit there. Hanny is not currently a healer, I think. He's a regular mage. Marianne. Manuela. Got one option for Dorothea. Taking a look at the monster guide again. An evil power I know about the HP reserve. Latent abilities. Can you've cornered one? You nope. Can you Barriers and confusion. A strong attack if you can break the barrier. That it cannot counter while confused. Can't counter while confused. Break Armor breaks. Not be able to move. Them. Gambits. Attack them with a gamb Staggering blows. This doesn't say... Yeah, I... I already knew all that, Hala. None of that gave me new information. So 
Felix, come take this whack. Gonna take a counter shot. It's gonna hurt. But now, Petra should be available. Well, Petra or Bernie. I can. I might be able to make use of Bernie here, actually. Make sure there's no other monsters around. Okay. Is just breaking one barrier barrier a staggering blow? No, one barrier is a confusion, I think. It makes them look like this. It means they can't counterattack for one hit. I don't think it means they don't get to move. So I need to take advantage of it on my turn. Pretty much what I'm saying. Bernie, come on. Bad first impression. Bad first impression. Poor little Annette, so far away. Um, I, what I can do is I can rally you up. So I can hit you with my Iron Axe for 22 damage, even on a barrier. That's pretty good. I can also have Dimitri swing around here and just use a quick Iron Axe shot, which will do a ton. It gives him a bit of axe experience, and then Petra gets the kill. Yeah. Okay, and then we Iron Axe. You get to die. Okay, that's three big wolves down, my heart is full of and my favorite healer dead. Kind of seems fitting that the new mechanic this. in Monsters would be the first one to get a permadeath out of me. The thing that I don't understand how it works. So that's HP, Strength, and Dexterity, all really good for a physical fighter. Good job, Petra. Yay. So here we have a rusted bow. Kublis is good. You're at 17. You've got your class mastered. I'm going to have you hang out in the background for... Oh, but if I don't do anything with you, then Leone isn't going to get any experience as an adjutant. So I think I do have to have her do something. Oh, that also counts as a break. I see. Of all the FG games Monster Band, it seems like this is the one where they are the most dangerous. Yeah, it's nice. They're big. They have multiple health bars. You ba it's basically suicide to try to take on more than one or two at a time since they take so much of your unit's effort to take down. Yeah, once all the other monsters are dead, these guys start moving in, so I'm gonna have to work fast if I wanna get to that chest. Oh my, no, come on, man, come on, man! You must hope to catch us from both sides. Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna get there now! Seems like they wanted me to have somebody go after it right at the beginning. And the eagles are gonna fly at me. Okay, um... I can't double an eagle. I don't have a dedicated healer to get Kublis back up. What I do have is Gambits. If I spend my other one on this... I also have another fucking health bar, though. This is not the level 19 battle. This is the Sothis one. These guys are only level 16. 
half my units are too far back to even be involved. So we need to use vulneraries wherever possible here. And I need to have Kublis and probably Ingrid work their way over here. Or, better option, have Kublis give Ingrid a chest key, have her go pick it up and fly back. It takes Kublis out for one turn, but Ingrid can only be attacked by one target and then she can get back in the fight. Stay focused. So store that training bow. Take out one of my many chest keys. Trade that over to Ingrid. And then use yourself of... Equip the iron bow because they're probably going to attack you from range. And use yourself a vulnerary. Okay. Ingrid. Hop down here. <clears throat> Leave your... S do, do these guys attack at range? They've all got a ranged attack because they're huge. I see. So leave the javelin on just that you can hit back. Chest contains for me a knowledge gem. Increases the amount of skill experience earned. Ooh, that sounds really nifty. I can use that. His playstyle is making it harder. What do you mean by my playstyle is making it harder? <laughs> You just mean because I don't have super focused units? Yeah, I, I figured it's something you have to equip. It's probably like an offhand, a secondary item. I can't get far enough. Not the units, it's the tactics. Lay off my tactics, man. <laughs> Thunder has a really good chance of critting on you, but that leaves Felix with very little HP. He would only be able to be attacked by one unit, though, and that one un unit would not be capable of killing him. So go for that. Yeah, I think I think the way they want you to deal with monsters is to always use a gambit on them, so that you're... Well, not always, but... Try when you're in a situation like this, you need to spend a gambit for the sake of like getting a proper tank situation going on. Get them focusing on one unit. I did not do that. That's what made me uh uh lose Mary lose Mercedes. There's so many units in here, it's easy to get their names confused too. Yes, yeah, so you here. smash up him. Time is now. Physical attack is nice. Protection is nice. Okay, so you are going to now attack Dimitri, and he'll be fine with that. In the south, things are much rougher. I don't have somebody that I can dedicate them to looking at, and Bernie is currently the only person in range. Kublis, I know, could take the shot. Bernie cannot. Petra probably could, too. So if I set... If I move Petra out of range... No, sorry, if I move Bernie out of range, and then have Petra come attack you... She doesn't know any combat arts yet. 
with the iron sword, I have a bunch of skills for it. Sure, go for that. Quick bane of monster shot. I think that means it's a critical too. Bam! Okay, so that's one of the giant eagle's health bars. Got a mithril. You get a health bar back. You've also been totally broken at this point, and you are looking at a at Dimitri, so we should be fine. I can even have Bernie step up here and use her iron bow on you, which is gonna do a ton of damage because in steel bow on you because you're a flyer. Just a bam! Good job, Bernie. Okay, I'm happy I got the ring. That was the big thing I wanted to get. Alright, I got the chest. Putting up a dodge tanking front here. Damn. Petra has been making a very good name for herself in the first battle. She got a good level. These monsters can't touch her. <laughs> Dudu has the one that's effective against flyers, okay? You're gonna do that thing unless I get out. If I have Ingrid come over here and Javelin, that's not enough, and you're going to do a ton of damage back, so I don't like that. Kublis has an Assault Troop. But I don't want to use up all of my Gambits. I'm going to need some for this guy who has three health bars. I feel like I can take this guy... If I put somebody in his range just to tank the hit, then next turn we can all descend on him, and I'll use somebody else's gambit to get the attention of the eagle. So who's going to tank the hit? I think Dedu is a good option for this. Even though he's not close enough to hit anybody, but when is he ever? Say that because I kind of need a net to be available for healing duty here. We need to do some topping up while we have a what could be considered a breather. Huh, thanks. Dimitri could also take the hit because he's good at that. Got 36 HP, 19 protection. Though if I put Dedu in there, he'd have 36 HP and 21 protection. So you come stand right here. Oh, his gambit's also ranged. I've only got two of them. They're good against flyers and there's three eagles left. I thought there were only two eagles. That makes this ah, harder. I have two line of lances, which is on a net. I have two fusillades, which is on Dedu, and it's good against archers. I have one assault troop on Kublis, so that's five total. I have two assemblies on Ingrid, none left on Dimitri, two onslaughts on Bernadetta, none on Sylvain, and that's it. So I actually still have like nine gambits. I have been more sparing with them than I need to be. However, I'd like to keep the dues available for the birds. And I know Kublis can tank the hit, but I'd rather she didn't have to. Still, getting some of the barriers off for next turn will probably be valuable. And Ingrid also has to be right next to him so she can't do anything this turn. <clears throat> We're 
Burns Gambit isn't that useful unless it's to stun the monster. Yeah, but she can still do that. And I can put her out of range of the attack radius of this one. As long as somebody is still there to tank the hit. Let me track the specific movement radius of this guy. So if I set burn down right here. Not there. It has to be two over from the log. From here, she can attack regularly. It's not a good shot, but it might break one of them. Okay, so that hit you at least. That's some damage. Physical attack went up, that's good. Protection went up, even better. And one barrier's down. Okay, so now you can't counterattack for a shot. If I can get to do in there to actually physically smack the guy, this will go so much better. Of course, Stinky Sylvain doesn't have drawback or heal. He can't fill the role that both of my other mages currently are. Smash will do 10 damage. Okay, so I could take you off one of your health bars. Let me see. Maybe if I put the time into this, I can take you out right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to, actually. Wait, maybe. Because I got Ingrid and I also have Kublis here. And Kublis has that sword of the creator. Of course, I might not need that if I can just bust down all of the barriers. If I Iron Axe this shot, you don't get to hit me back. You fall down once. One of your health bars gone. The reason I asked is because I wasn't expecting this many monsters on one map, which made me question if Gambits with a lot of uses would be useful for a map like this. Gambits only... From what I have seen, Gambits only ever have a certain amount of uses. Like, you have your magic and your special effects ones, which have one point. You have your straight-up attacking ones, which have two points, and you have your support ones, which have three. I've never seen them break that formula. Even if I pulled the do forward, I just took both spaces that he could stand in. I can't put anybody on the rubble. So, the do is not going to be able to assist me with this. At some point, I have to put a unit on this experience tile, too. Or, sorry, not, not, not experience tile, but... There's a yellow thing on that. That'll give me experience, that's what I mean to say. Man, these guys are actually large on the map. This is a huge, scary-ass wolf. So I could assault troop you, which will knock out the rest of what you got left. Got to try. And the assault troop had multiple uses. So that totally busts you down. Ingrid can fly over, basically get a free sh- Oh, what? Why does that increase your movement range?
That's not good. That means I have to pull Bernie back. Tell how much this guy's gonna do with this. It's not insurmountable. If I did it, I would just have to pull. I would either have to. No, I'd have to pull Bernie back. I was thinking I might be able to just block her off. Might be able to just block her off with uh, Ingrid and Didu. But we need three spaces to do that effectively. So if I have Ingrid get involved in this fight, then I have to use Felix to pull Bernie back. So what's the deal here? Felix, can you end this? Yes, you can. Okay, so do that. I still don't know if this is a good idea. Why am I even here? I probably should have busted, I mean, used him to pull back Bernie. Although she does have a vulnerary. She should be able to take a 40 damage hit. I mean, be able to take whatever it is once. I'm worried about the other bird. If she moves at all, that bird gets a way out. Which is not good for me because this is about the worst space I could be standing right now. And if I let her stand there, she's gonna get staggered and get stuck there. And getting stuck is even worse because I don't have somebody that can ranged heal anymore. She's just gonna be up there with like a single vulnerary. Aggro the bird and canto away. Maybe? Not a bad idea. That does take her out of harm's way. Okay, attract a giant bird's attention. Now you fly this way. Okay. There's still a lot of birds coming. Uh, okay, so you just decided to turn. I didn't think you'd be able to do that. i kind of been hoping that... Uh, you would have given up and moved because now. Excuse me! We should probably take those out before we approach. Excuse me! This was already hard enough! Level 15, my ass!
Level 15 was the recommended level for this map. I'm coming in with 16s and a couple 17s. Yeah, and they spawned literally on top of me. Like, I don't know where they expected me to be at this point. Like, over here, maybe? But I am not in a good place. Look, look, everything! Everything has range on me right now. I can't take five monsters all attacking me at once. There's, there's too much going on here. Ingrid's just gonna fucking die. She can't move. She's stuck here. I'll do my best. I mean, she's not gonna die because she's not getting attacked. But attacking either of them is gonna kill me. So yeah, you, you just kind of have to sit here and use a vulnerary. If I make it through this map, it's gonna be like three units actually dead. I don't... I, I don't see how they could expect me to be killing the dragon right now. Like, with the way these monsters were set up, what I'm doing here is like... the way the map encouraged me to move. Because... Kublis was up here. My whole army was here. Cool. We move to her while she's defending. Then everybody's located here. It spawns some more monsters to the immediate left of me. And then I'm like... The monsters in the south start moving up. So my initial thought process is... Okay, I'm gonna go kill those guys on the left before the guys in the south get to me. Thus, I'm over on the left. Because if I try to attack the guys in the south, I would be trying to take out four monsters, one of which is a boss, and then I would get hit from behind, because I wouldn't be able to kill them all in time. Now they've essentially given me four monsters on the left anyways, right in time for the flyer monsters, who don't have to take the bridge, to just collapse on top of me. No, Garland, they don't- they didn't expect me to just attack the dragon and expect Professor to survive. The student's dialogue specifically said we have to go save the Professor, thus directing the player to go do that. Like, I- I don't like this map at this point. Because I- again, I've been following what seems like the strategically viable and the strategically sensible targets only to be put into a corner with no way to possibly defend against all of this. Like, I'm running out of gambits here. Bernie has won, but she can't get close to a monster unless that monster is going to be dead. Dudu has won, so he he can use that to attract some attract one of the hawks' attention, I guess. Kublis is out. Ingrid has won, but she can't get close. Annette has two, and that's it. I have one. I I have two on Bernie, and I have two on Annette. So I have enough to stun one monster, not both. Are your archers at all effective against the bird monsters? They are. You are correct on that. 
but only if I'm hitting a broken uh, barrier. And I've only got one archer. Sorry, I have two, but I have one archer that can like one shot a bird if I can take down the barrier. That archer is also the person who has the gambits that I need. But I could maybe make a wall. Like if I put Bernie as far back here as possible. I could maybe make a wall with the other units, take out the bird, let the wolf and the other bird come descend upon me, and then figure it out from there. And at that point, we'll have four monsters bearing down on my neck. Like, I don't, I don't see, I, I haven't been using the special abilities either. Maybe I should have been, but at this point, I don't see a way to avoid that. Like, I have to start using my, my holy weapons here. And even a holy weapon on a barriered monster will not kill it. And each of these monsters have two health bars. Hi, Camille. Yeah, this is a rough situation. And hi, Bonky. Bonky Bomber Eye. Yeah, I'm in. I, I I am in a very, very rough situation. I think like I I did not know. Okay, a couple things. First off, this game has been pretty easy so far. I've only had one death in the whole game, and every unit gets two lives, so it got rewound. I'm at level 15, 16, 17 right now. I've only faced one of these monsters before it was in a story condition, so I come to do a paralogue. It said, recommended level's 15. Fine, I'm level 16. We're good. I'm following along the... I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing again, but I'm... F I got to this situation by following what seemed to me to be the strategically viable and the strategically smart choices every single turn and going for the enemies that were alone and isolated rather than get myself cornered. Only four. At this point, when I took out the monsters in the corner and I was ready to set up a wall to deal with the hawks, they gave me more monsters. So now I have more enemies than I was ready to deal with. Some of them are behind my lines. Every one of them takes like half my team to take down they all have two health bars most of them are flyers so they can just skip over this gap in the middle of the map and the one thing i have to get their attention and tank them i am almost completely out of the only people that have them left are a fragile mage and a fragile archer <laughs> So welcome, Bonky and Camille. How are you guys doing? You want to hop into the voice call and chat? <laughs> this is my open invitation as well to uh, anybody to uh, come in here and talk to me. <sighs> be aware the Discord's been being stupid, but I did find some uh, web pages that might be able to help you troubleshoot that if it happens again. Ryan picked his battles and the game decided he chose them wrong. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Discord has worked, hasn't worked correctly for the past two days. That's it. Not five days. Okay, so I need somebody to break the guard of this bird. And then I can have Bernie take it. And, and then I can have, I think, Sylvain take out the rest of its health bar. Then I can have Bernie take the whole thing down with a steel bow shot. And that's one monster down in three units. It doesn't solve what to do with the wolf, and I'd rather not use Annette's... Oh, wait. Oh, Annette's got a really good one. I forgot that she has enough authority to use the Dusker Soldiers. She hits a whole square in front of her. I can completely guard break a monster in one turn with her. Yeah. So, hi, Hala. So, Hello. um... 
Okay, I that, have a plan. That that changes oh, things like a little cheesy. bit. Um, let, let me let me talk through mine. I just I just gave a plan for this one. I can knock out one shield with the bird. Have uh hopefully have Sylvain use his lance to monster kill the first health bar and then have Bernie back up and kill the second health bar with a steel bow shot. I know she can do that. She did it once already. That's bird down in three units, which leaves me with six others. So you have Sylvain attacking a barrier and killing one bar of bird? No. Um, some First, I need a unit to take out the barrier, then Sylvain and, Ber and Bernadette can attack that broken space. Yeah, my thought was... Hold up, I'm not done I, yet. Oh, all right. Past that, that leaves me with six units, and I can uh, knock down the wolf's barrier, which would stun him. I don't know if that means he doesn't get to attack for a round. But when that happens, um, that sort of leaves a net up front near other enemies who will attack me, which is a bad situation. But I might be able to form a wall with the rest of my units, because the rest of my units are, are beefy enough, I think, to take a hit or two. That's what I've got. Sort of similar to my plan. What are you proposing? And don't worry about it, Camille. If you're sick, then just worry on getting better. I was thinking having Felix break the South Birdies barrier, have Petra, because I think Petra has the movement uh, support, right? Movement gamut? She does. Give that to Dimitri and move him so he can block one of the other birds and then use the two archers to take down the, the big bird the southern bird. I don't think Dimitri can really do that right now. Dudu is blocking off the north bird. I, I, yeah, I mean, D it's, Dudu is blocking off the bird that's near Ingrid from moving too close. Actually, yeah, Dudu right now, without moving him at all, he's serving breaker. He's, he's serving wall duty. They are both attacking burn by the looks of it. That's true, but I'm going to move burn to the south. You would, yes. Yeah. So my so with now that I'm looking at the movements, yeah, the the worry in that case still becomes the wolf, because as and long then, as long as the wolf doesn't move, the birds can't move through him. But if the wolf does move, that screws up what I can do. And a net can make the wolf not move with the six gambit she has. Right. She she can, but there's no safe place to do it. She's going to be in attack radius no matter what. And she has the speed. She has an attack speed of 14. These birds have 16, which is terrifying. But she doesn't have the... Actually, no, wait. She has an iron shield on her, doesn't she? Because Ingrid, no, no, no. I saw, took four damage from them, from their regular attacks, twice. Right, but Ingrid has a uh, protection of 16. But I forgot that she... Again, she has the Dusker Heavy Soldiers. They have a protection rating of... They give her a protection rating of 13. Yeah, so, so it's, they, she would live. I Oh no, cause she only has 26 HP, so she might. But she's not gonna get doubled, Ingrid did. Yeah, cause Ingrid is running one of the heavier things. Well, she's only holding onto a javelin right now, but it brings her attack speed down to 19. Whereas Annette holding onto her fire spell has an attack speed of 14. So if they hit me with 21, and they go after 13, that's only 8 damage times 2. They would do 16. It, it's not a good position, but after that, I could use Felix to heal her up. Alternatively, I could just leave Dudu out there and let them both come at him with an Iron Axe, because if I don't use Felix for anything else, I can draw Annette back out of their attack range. Yeah, because I was thinking Petra gets Dimitri to haul ass and then Felix would be the one breaking the barrier, and Sylvain's just kind of there. Sylvain he doesn't have a dedicated use right now, but he does have Ruined Sky. Kinda Can like, he heal yet? Kind of like, no, he can't. He's so yeah. friggin' close, and he's not able to heal yet. That's why this is a pain for me right now. I think you can survive this turn at the least. Yeah, next turn because... I'm still gonna have to deal with, you know, a wolf with two HP bars left and three uh, hawks bearing down on me, but we'll worry about that one when we get there. 
The hawks are easier to take out, at least. Okay, so Annette, uh, you, we've, it's been determined your ability needs to be... God, everything's attacking poor little Bernie. Gambit, you need to bust yourself down, buddy. God, I hope this means the wolf can't move. If it doesn't, then everything's bad. Even more protect This battalion gives seven defense! Oh, it's so good. And the wolf is broken. The wolf isn't gonna move, but he is gonna attack Annette, which takes out half of her I don't HP think he bar. can. Yeah, look, it's happening right now. That's the preview for next turn. But it's also showing that he doesn't have an attack range. So it's kind of sig it's signaling mixed things. I don't like it enough that I would want to pull her back because she could take one one hawk's attack. She can't take a hawk attack and um a wolf. Although this is odd. They have attack range on her because it's assuming the owl, uh, it's assuming the hawk can occupy the same space as the wolf. And I don't think they can do that. You see uh, what I mean? Like the, the blue space to attack a net is the same space the wolf is standing on. I think, yeah, the owls wouldn't, or the birds wouldn't be able to attack a net unless they can move to where Burn is right now. Which they can't because Dadu is standing there. Like these these guys form a small enough window that I don't think they can move in. Yeah, so Burn should be able to move back and well, yeah, yeah you so want to do I'm, that later though. I'm gonna I think take the risk and let Annette stand there. She's still got an extra life if it is needed. So I've got Dimitri and Petra, who I think are the best bets to try and take out one of the giant bird's uh, barriers. Petra has a monster killing ability. Which is not enough to kill the wolf. Damn, a regular iron sword doubling would do more. So I think that means nobody drastically needs a heal right now. So I think Felix is probably best spent taking out the barrier. Maybe a spec. No, he can't get far enough away to do it with uh, with a range three. And I wouldn't want to because that still puts him in range of another bird. Although, wait a second. only does 10 damage, so if I move to over here... That's an 85% hit chance. Take that, because then you don't take damage this turn, which puts you in a better spot. You might take an attack next turn, you might not. So if we have Sylvain step up and you ruin Sky, Lance of Ruin, yep, that's- Oh my god! Oh, I should have been using these! This is a map to spend some durability on! 65 damage! Yeah. Okay, so that's one bird HP bar, then we move Bernie back. Oh, you have one bar too many. You have one bar too many. How dare you? Ah, right. If I curve shot. Never mind. Curve shot will work. That's how I did it last time. So Bernie step up here. The iron bow, steel bow, curved shot on this space which is 42 damage, exactly enough to kill the bird. Good girl, Bernie. Hat pats for you. 
Am I done yet? That's two giant monsters slain basically single-handedly. Okay, so that's one bird down. Let's see if these guys have changed their targeting. Yeah, uh, the one of them is gonna go after Felix because he's standing there and I don't have the ability to pull him back. What I could do instead is have Dimitri go and reposition him because Dimitri has far more protection. He would not have the ability to fire back though. That might be valuable on its own just because it'll free up one of the monster's uh, barriers on their turn. So I'm gonna leave Felix there. Another small problem, I feel like I could do something to that wolf, but if I do, it might wake him up and it's gonna put them in range of this other bird. I don't believe it wakes him up because we did the first monster, you were able to wail on it and then it regained consciousness the next turn but couldn't actually take an action. I moved to do at all, then he's not gonna be able to block Felix anymore. So if I do that, then it becomes a good idea to reposition with Dimitri. Still, Dudu can almost kill this big wolf on his own. So if I can get the wolf dead, then Kublis can sort of the creator him for his second health bar. Petra, I think, is fine. Because nobody generally likes to attack Petra. She's just too strong. Yeah, so if we use an iron axe here. You get some damage. Petra gets up to level 17. Disappointing. Not great. Not yeah. Killing the wolf would make a net attackable again. Oh, fuck, you're right. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. So having it there is just good as a wall since it can't attack. I'm worried about it getting all of its uh, barriers back next turn. It'll get the barriers back, I think, but it won't be able to attack. But getting those barriers back is a big problem in and of itself. I guess it's not gonna matter either way if we leave them alive. By leaving to do where he is, never mind, he doesn't have ranged, so he's not gonna be able to counterattack either of these guys. He does have an anti-air gambit that can hit multiple spaces. Kind of forgot about that. So I, if if the it birds decide to be nice and clump up, I could do some serious damage. It's a T range, I think, right? Yeah, it's a plus. And it is a three range on its own, plus the T. Wolf is still gonna be alive. This continues him getting attacked by at least one of them. So let's take out one of Wolf Bar's health. One of Wolf's health bars. Okay. You're right, he's still down. Okay. It says he's gonna attack. I'm so worried about freaking a net right now. Um, Dimitri, you step over here because Felix can't take two shots. So equip your highest avoidant thing, which is gonna be that iron sword. What you could have done, and I'm just realizing this now, oh, is if you shit. killed the wolf, you could have had literally anyone, so like Kublis, step into one of the spots it occupied and protected a net for another turn. I don't think that would have been enough because the birds can... Uh... Oh, the birds can attack her anyway, because you moved to do. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Dimitri's uh, move works differently than I thought it did. So I can still save Felix, but not the way that I had hoped to. 
I thought it was swap. It's not swap. It moves him to the other side. That's actually good. That gets everybody's attention back onto Dew again, because I pulled everybody away from it. But now the only person left is Kuglis, who could kill the wolf, but not kill the wolf and prevent them from moving in. Wait. So each of the birds are doing eight on to do. I totally could. I totally could. If I step here. Ruptured Heaven is going to do it. She's not strong enough to kill him in one turn, so it doesn't matter. Just take a swipe. Take him down to half health. He'll be less of a pain next time. What's up, Leone? <laughs> How's your first mission with, uh, with blue team? Hmm? Oh, okay. You chose to come hit me in melee range. No, wait. Creator's, uh, range sword. Kublis, come on. Missing on a 71. Okay, he missed on a 76, so I'm fine with that. So that's one bird who was basically invalidated. Second bird after the do. Mm -hmm. That's good. If he'd chosen to wait, he'd take no damage, but I needed to I needed to hit the wolf. Second bird just chose to do nothing. Rather than oh wait, right, he couldn't stand in the same spot as the other one. Okay, so now we got two birds. He wants to Felix. Now we got two birds charging big moves. Wolf is still alive, though his barriers aren't back. And now we have yet another impossible situation to try and solve. <sighs> Ready. The wolf is still broken, right? No, he's not. The wolf's not broken, but he has no uh, barrier left. So I think the wolf can die to one unit. So that's not too big an issue. So you could have like Petra kill him or something. It's not enough to take out one of your health bars because you have all your barriers up. To do, if I steal gauntlets one of you, it's still not enough because you have your barrier. That's going to be a repeating theme here. Not enough because you have your barriers up. You, oh, I'm thinking they're in exactly the situation I wanted them to be. Do you see what I do? No. You don't? I don't know what you're talking about. Because uh, Dudu's Gambit is ranged, right? You can attack... Yeah, you could attack one of them, have both of them have a barrier down, and archers. They both still have two HP bars, though. That is also true. So... You would have other units. I don't know if they can stand elsewhere, though. I don't think Dudu needs to be right up on them either. I think he does. It doesn't work from far. Oh, wait, Gambit? Wow, you're right. It does. Okay. Yeah, so I can do this, which is going to take a lot of points out of the closer one. But that's the one that I can have more units on anyways. Let's begin. Oh boy, this might succeed, or it might be that I just spent two hours accomplishing nothing. Who knows? Sometimes that's how Fire Emblem go. What's more is that I've attracted their attention. So yeah, so they're attacking to do, so even, everyone else seems to be fine. Even if I don't do anything with him, like, he'll be able to survive around, and the birds are looking there. At least one of them is. Yeah, this is actually very good. Petra's unfortunately locked behind the wolf right now. She could kill him, but I'd like to get her closer if I can. She can't step closer than Kublis because Kublis has the bow shot right now. I've also and got Kublis Ingrid. Can't shoot in three. My combat art's Burning Quake Luin. That does 40 damage. It's not super move, but it's enough to hurt. Effective against dragons.
I could also use her gambit, which will knock out the bird and take out two of his uh, bars, letting Kublis do a stronger bow shot. I think it would have been better to save it since they're both attacking to do anyway. No, they're not. Only one of them is targeting him. The other one was free. I checked that. I don't think it has a mechanic available to like try and force two units to to trigger that at the same time. I think it would. No, I'm saying it literally did not. I just did it. It didn't happen. So now, if, okay, okay. Now we're talking. That barrier's down. Take your iron bow shot. Just a bam. One bird down. Is this, is this actually going to happen? Is this actually going to succeed? I'm expecting the monsters to be infinitely spawning. It's not going to succeed because I don't have a way to stall the far bird. He's going to be a free agent no matter what I do. Anybody that could have had gambits up closer, they're all gone. So unless I pull everybody back far enough that he just has nobody to attack. And I can't do that because Bernie is needed to take out the front bird. Okay, I don't need to take out the well, front bird. He's gonna, the front mm -hmm. bird is going to attack to do and he's going to hit Ingrid. Yeah. But he's not going to kill. Yeah, and the wolf's in the way for a three range. Well, Bernie could dead eye the other bird if he really wanted to. She doesn't have the mo movement for it. I'd have to kill the wolf first and then maybe. Have there been any funerals? Yes, Bonky. Mercedes just died at the beginning of this map. I have been kind of secretly hoping that I would not be able to succeed at this strategy because that would allow me to bring back my armor uh, healer. But it looks like against all odds, we're unfortunately going to succeed. <laughs> Boo! I want Mercedes! <laughs> so I have Petra, Annette, Sylvain, Dimitri, Bernadette, and Felix left. Felix doing anyway. Currently nothing. And there's not much you can do either. He can kill the wolf, but that sort of leaves him out in the middle of everything. He can take a hit, can't he? Probably could. You're right. And then I can use a net to heal him up. He's also level 17. And that would also free up a spot for Burn to stand to dead eye. Like I could, I could kill him with a net instead. Is what I'm saying. And a net's only 16. I mean, Annette does gain experience for healing. So Cutting Gale, not a lot. Felix also is a healer. Felix is the same way. Feeling stronger. Strength, dex, speed, defense, and charm. Good level. Okay, so you're all cleared up. We can combat arts. Okay, so I know the curved shot will absolutely kill the bird. If I move Petra in and kill with Iron Axe first, then Bernie can make it a third chicken that she's killed. Yes. Bammo! Another giant bird down. Four points. Too, you know. Dexterity, speed, defense, and charm. Yay. Yep, that's 
That's an archer level. I have a ton of healers. Yes, I've already recruited Manuela. Uh, I have Flane, and also I brought on Marianne. I have three backup priests. All right. The problem isn't that I that I lost my healer. The problem is that I lost the healer I've spent the entire game teaching heavy armor to. This very day, in game, this very day, I had her take her exam to become an armor knight and get that defense, and she failed it. If she passed that exam, she would still be alive. <laughs> Thing is, I think she would have died anyway. No, because I no, actually, treated, she wouldn't no, have I the movement have, to get into position to die. <laughs> so how could she have died? <laughs> that still means she would have been alive. Because I think the defense boost was barely enough to not have her live through that. But it, doesn't, the... it doesn't matter. I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake about no, the way that the monsters behaved. It may have gone down differently if Mercedes was not a priest. It's just these three left. Okay. Who are you going for right now? You are choosing to attack Sylvain back there, and he will be fine. And that's the last of the birds, and then, oh, thank god, there's still the final boss, and I have, like, no gambits left. Maybe the final boss will kill me. <sighs> I mean, you still have to do his other. No, shut up. <laughs> Maybe the final boss will kill me. Let me hope for this. And Annette, I think, Let still has one. Let me hope for this! <laughs> <laughs> I have one line of lances, two onslaughts from Bernie, one fuselage from Dudu. Felix, come. There's no people that need heals, so you heal up. Dimitri instead, that's a bad spot to be standing. Thanks. I'm sort of stand out in the center, and it'll stick Dimitri next to you. Oh, okay. That changes things. By putting him there with the support, the bird chooses to attack Petra instead. Well, maybe I'll go stand next to Petra instead. Ever think about that? <laughs> Reposition her. Boom. Okay. She will not be hit. She will. This has been a standout mission for Petra. She's dodged like three seventy-four percent attacks. She's getting so lucky. <laughs> it's you. You stole Mercedes's luck. It was you. There can only be <laughs> one axe user in this party. Well, I mean, we still have to do and Dimitri and the dude's punching things and Dimitri. I don't know what he's trying to do anymore. He's, he's trying to become a wyvern lord. <laughs> I want to put him on a big dragon. <laughs> okay, so you just come stand here. Let other people get some experience around you for a while. Finally use this blessed lance once. Give a big ol' one stab, good. Magic, speed, luck, defense, resistance. I'll take both of the defenses, that's awesome. Speed is also good. <clears throat> I have a final boss for him? Oh, awesome. 17, 17, 17, 16, 17, 17, 16. I get, yeah, Dudu needs it. So, <clears throat> we have Petra step round here. Well, here, actually, let's have Felix step here. I'm 
We can quickly drop a Miasma onto you so that you can only hit me back once. This is the most defensive Peg Knight I've ever seen. My Ingrid is coming out awesomely. <laughs> um, and then Annette, I've also got, yeah, Dudu. Come step up onto this spot and you use your steel gauntlets and you punch this bird right out of the sky, man. Punch me the sky! Don't give up! I'm surprised gauntlets don't have a weakness against flying units. Handle whatever comes. He got three points. He got a three pointer level, and it's not magic. He got HP, strength, it, and it speed. Speed, which I think is even lower than magic. <laughs> it is, but speed on an armor knight is not awful. It's not the most useful stat, but it's not awful. <laughs> to do he's good at three things and three things only and i'm i'm getting i keep getting points in other things okay final boss is approaching let's go see if we can lock him down on the stairs that's what sky uppercut is for you you see garland gets it in heavy armor? Yeah. He's got a B in it. He knows how to move. Stay vigilant. You up to here. Spot right there. Move Felix up a bit. You can assist heal. My thanks. His armor isn't that heavy. He's got weight minus three. You see? Garland gets it. <laughs> then Annette can step up and we will assist heal you for some more. Sorry. Okay, the moment you see Dudu implementing rockets in its heavy armor, I'll change my tune. But until then... Dudu is the best, alright? I will I will hear no more of this. No more of this bad talking on my, on my favorite unit type. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is, this is gonna be bad. Um, Annette, please come and save us from this. Gambit, here we go. Let's break you. Use the heavy armor battalion to do the thing that nobody else can do. Which is get a net killed. That's right, this boss behaves differently than all the other ones. This monster. I just used a gambit that hit every part of him and I only broke one. <laughs> you know why? No. It's because his barriers weren't already, like, partly broken. No, no. Every other monster was. No, they weren't. Those monsters just had weak-ass barriers. I could hit them for seven damage and they would go down. Yeah, because they were already partly broken. They had the shattered effect. I wasn't looking with that. I was not looking with that. Okay. Well... Well, Dudu can hit all three of them. Well, if he weren't already used. He's not. Oh, he's not? Then he can break all three of them. Yay. Wait for me. Let's do it. Now. Dudu with rockets? That's why he gained magic. He used fire to propel himself like Iron Man. <laughs> I can get behind that. Okay, there we go. He's busted. And now Dudu has his attention. Okay, that's a plus. A grog. It has no will or mind to call its own. You must now strike it down 
That is the best you can hope to offer this poor lost soul. It's a giant armadillo monster. I don't think it's fair calling it a poor lost soul. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this giant monster to Kubla's dialogue of Grog and Ellipsis. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Only the best, the best of dialogues. So Ingrid can step onto this space. Okay, you hop up here. Iron Lance. Some extra damage here. Ingrid's battle animation looks, made it look like she hit one of her Pegasus allies. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I can't control it. Are we any healing yet? No, they do not. Okay, so Felix, you hop in here. You can miasma. That's one bar of three. Strength, magic, luck, and resistance, okay. And I do not have the gambits to do this again. That was Dedu's last one. I only have one more out of a net. And you've got a lot of HP bars left. Man, burn with a 15% base crit? Did she? I wasn't looking. Yeah, Sylvain over here with 11. Oops. Oh well. Strength and speed, not great. Okay, so you wake up. Awesome. I guess we, if we did all that damage in one turn, we can probably kill him this turn. He is countering this turn, I think. That's true. That is very true. He's got his attention back now. You punched that thing in the face, Dudu. The real Dudu level. The the first one. The real Dudu level. Finally, he did it. <laughs> he got his growths. All of them in one level. I cannot take another bar with Bernie Garland. The only reason she was able to do that with those hawks is because she's an archer and was hitting a flyer. I think she could have taken the one that to do punched out of him, but eh. <sighs> right, I said I was gonna train myself in lances this whole match. It just never happened. Hit him with that lance. Okay, we got a Kublis level for 18. Another Six pointer, forward. yes. HP, strength, dexterity, speed. Very yes. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I didn't lose. Mercedes has to stay dead. And now we have another battle. That's right, yeah. Wow, this entire stream is just going to be fights for once. I mean, I'm okay with that after last stream. Yeah, there's a lot of time spent at the base. You're right. Good God, Dimitri! You oh. are the beast, not this oh. guy. You are. <laughs> it's because the monster has an axe weakness. Does he? Yeah. You see the axe down icon? And the check mark around might. Barrier. Vital defense makes critical hits impossible. Heart seeker. Jason foes suffer from suffer negative avoidance. Poison breath. Units hit are poisoned. Heart seeker. I don't think that's a thing, man. He does. Do you see the axe down icon over him? No. Right next to, I think that's Ingrid's battalion symbol. Oh, there. Huh, I never spotted that. Okay, well, still, that's 66 damage. That's crazy. When not failing is worse than failing the map. 
Yo, low key, every time one of my good units dies in Fire Emblem, I'm secretly hoping I'll lose. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. Just so that I can get the reset. <laughs> the valid reset. Dimitri with magic over here. I'm not committed enough to give up the match, but I'm definitely hoping it doesn't turn out well. <laughs> Ooh, what is model leader? Our work is done. My my, things did not go as planned. Let us return before any more hawks or wolves join us. But what was that demonic beast doing within the Red Canyon? I don't think Mercedes can retest. Yeah, no, she's dead. She is absolutely dead. MVP, yeah, I'll give it to Petra. Or Burn takes out three birds all at once. It, on her own. Yeah, sorry, not on her own. But she did take off entire health bars at once. But Petra gets it. I think it's because Petra just dodged everything. Thank you. Squirtles, I don't think... That's a valid quote because this did not go as planned with something said in the game, Professor, not something I'm I said. I'm so glad that you are unharmed. What if something had happened to you? Your Highness, our instructor is safe. We should return to the monastery at once. I appreciate the interaction, but that's like my only rule. Yes, I suppose you are right. If we stay here much longer, we are sure to be reprimanded. It is not untrue to assert that our professor led us here for battle experience. You know, against monsters, and we're coming back with one fewer student than normal. To do, you surprise me. No, I'm dumb. And you, professor. I hope you will tell us what brought you here. Oh, dear. You put us in a bit of danger there. So this, how dare you? <laughs> we are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us. We very nearly met your end. <laughs> What a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned. I'm proud of us. We did good. Hmm. Poor Mercedes. You seem more confident in your ability to teach. But that makes sense, as you have me to help you out. You te you could have used your abilities to heal Mer to save Mercedes. It's true. I chose not to. <sighs> she fucked up one too many times. Disappointing to have dodged so deeply into danger. And yet I don't care who the unit is, they get two tries. By, by they die on the second one, oh well. By following my instructions, she fucked up too many times. <laughs> huh? What is this strange feeling? My memories... Hey, Sothis, why can't you do that when my students are taking a test? Yeah! Yeah! I've only taken three tests at a 65% chance, and I failed two of them. How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. It really was worth all that effort. I found something. It's the body of a poor girl who huh? only wanted to be a healer. Huh? You found this? <laughs> it wasn't here when we got here, Sothis. I dare say you may find a use for that. Whose head is that? I don't remember this. <laughs> you should decide how best to use that thing. But wow. We got a lot out of this trip. It was a bother for a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Very delightful. How, de how delightful. 